There's an age old tale in sports, the one of the underdog, the Cinderella, the one nobody gave a chance. I'm kind of disappointed. I didn't hear you guys at all this week say Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> it's not as common we as you don't think. Say yeah. that. Well, Aussies don't say that to Aussies. Yeah, yeah someone today. said Aussie, 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 and yeah. we said oi, oi back. But Aussies don't say that to Aussies. Yeah, yeah. it's more like it's more how like they say, I say it, to, it to you. Yeah. So I say Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. We go oi, oi, oi. Don't say it. Especially when they take that chance and they run. The LPGA season has arrived in San Francisco for the Hanwha Life Plus International Crown. A season that will see events played around the globe and over $101 million in prize money. The LPGA Tour is thrilled to welcome the International Crown back. A season that will hatch promising careers. It's been a crazy last two weeks. I wasn't even ready to win Chevron. A season that will elevate players onto the mantle of history. We don't really get too many opportunities to play in this kind of format. It's a great honor for us. A season that will change lives. And with it, a monthly series bringing you those stories. What would you all think of the hot dog bills? Clutch. Good. I needed that. It was I... a nice little pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> An inside look at the dreams being chased week in and week out on tour. The week players have been waiting for since 2018. The Hanwha Life Plus International Crown. A biennial eight team event pitting the top four players from each qualifying nation against each other in a series of four ball, foursome and singles matches. The field at TPC Harding Park represents four continents with two pools of teams seated one through eight. At the top is the United States, stacked with four major champions, including San Francisco native Danielle Kang and the newest major champion, Lilia Vu. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I'm in the middle of a practice round. Someone thanked me for being here this week and I said I wouldn't miss it for the world. It's been a crazy last two weeks. I wasn't even ready to win Chevron. I didn't even think that I was coming close. And then all of a sudden I was playing a playoff and then next thing you know, I won the event. I mean, it's such a great feeling to know that all your hard work paid off, but just also learning to kind of pace yourself. San Francisco is part of my home. There's just so many happy memories here that I had with my entire family, my mom, dad, and my brother. I actually kind of teared up on the drive over to Harding Park was because nostalgia for me, you know? I think of my dad. I went to his grave site last week and had lunch with him. I feel like I can breathe. I don't know, it's the clear air, it's the, it's that mist, right? That ocean wind coming in just makes me feel right. I'm super excited to be here. My teammates are three rock stars. They're good on their own. Actually kind of nervous because they're all so solid, and I hope that they can also rely on me. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult for everybody, but I think it's gonna be really fun. This is something that's been on my mind for this entire year. I've wanted to be a part of this team. Now that it's happening, I'm excited and I'm happy, and four of us are gonna do our best to bring the trophy back home. <laughs> It's such a privilege, this tournament, only four of the best of each country gets to play here. I'm super excited, I think it's gonna be a good week. The USA is not the only team coming off a recent win. Seven Seed Australia is still waking up from their latest celebration. No, that is confidence. Like Stop talking about Greenies win last week and how well she played. Coming in clutch down the last. Took extra time, but Hannah Green wins the inaugural JM Eagle. Everyone was everywhere, kind of. Greenie was getting absolutely squashed. <laughs> Where did you go? Five drinks. Did you go? <laughs> I'm exhausted. 
if you can't tell. Had to put some makeup on to cover these bags. <laughs> Monday. It's, it's stuck. <laughs> You'll have to look at me while I do that. Big smile. <laughs> you guys are the only ones that came in at the team. Look at me. <laughs> Good job, Kempi. Oh, oh backside. <laughs> I like that. You got bicep screen. <laughs> Good job, guys. As the players get out and explore the rerouted TPC Harding Park layout, and their team jerseys adorned with names and numbers, some friendly competition breaks out. Okay, I'm stepping on the scene with my team so me. Floating so high, they gon' try to intervene. Stepping on the scene with my team so me. Adjusting to the weather is going to be very important. <laughs> Staying warm. <laughs> the thing is, you can't wear a lot of layers because you need to be able to swing. I feel like when you have a lot of layers, it's very restricting. So staying warm and making sure that your hands, you still feel in your hands. <laughs> Putting my hands into my mitts and having hand warmers in there. <laughs> I wanted 13 because my parents are 13 days apart, but Lily got to it before me. So 28 was my next number. <laughs> that is the day I was born. In our bracket, we're playing China the first day. We're playing England the last day. Anyone that I get, I think it'll be exciting. I think it'll be something different. I mean, typically with Solheim, we're playing against a European, so it's gonna be fun to play against China the first day. Sorry, watch out. Very slow. Perfect day. Yeah, very good. Bye. I can reach this. I should hope so. It is a par four. four. <laughs> <laughs> I just had her a 20 bucks for an up and down, knowing that oh, that's thick and she doesn't have a putter. Great. Oh. Love it. I'm down $120. I could have won my money back just now, but he said I had to make that putt, but I don't have a putter right now. Well, he knew I didn't have a putter and made the bet. It's okay. He wouldn't let me borrow it. Cold air is coming in. Yeah, it is. You guys are like the last tea times almost every day. Yeah, you get your sleep in. You get to rest. We're playing at 12 and yes, 1? 12.45. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have 1 o'clock, and then the next day is 12.15. See you at 11. <laughs> On the other side of the course, Australia tries out some match play with high stakes of their own. Perfect. Can't believe I'm saying that, but. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, you're gonna clean my shoes. Nothing will make me more excited this week than you cleaning my shoes. Go, go! <laughs> I'm just gonna pick mine out, guys. <laughs> oh, uh, you guys need to make it to extend the match. Just letting you know. <laughs> Do not clean my shoes. I want Steph cleaning mine. Are you touching your grotty shoes. Yes, you are. If you miss this, it's you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good cut. Literally, if you don't make this, you will clean my shoes. Kevin, I never agreed to that. <laughs> Is that a joke? <laughs> oh, you're kidding. I'm not touching anyone's shoes. Or you're jumping in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll jump in the ocean. I'm touching anyone's shoes. No. <laughs> God. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not touching oh. shoes. I'm going to dirty these so that bad. Disgusting. Oh, you're lucky that they're kind of new. On Tuesday night, the players traded in their golf attire for formal wear and dined with dignitaries at the welcome gala as part of the perks of the special week. I'm a fashion killer. I'm a top five Mike Jackson thriller. The LPGA Tour is thrilled to welcome the International Crown back to its competitive schedule. And for the first time, we bring the International Crown to San Francisco. This is a golf city. The players representing their countries this week. We have 15 of the top 20 in the Rolex rankings. That's the world rankings in the women's game. So let's meet our incredible lineup. Big trendsetter, you should take a flip. Representing Australia, the Republic of Korea, the number one seed, the United States of America. You know, whenever you get to represent your country, I think that's the highest of honor. So far, we've had an amazing week, and uh, we've really enjoyed our bonding time, for sure. The best team will win, right? That'll be the case. The 32 players competing this week at the Hanwha Life Plus International Crown. Ladies, thank you so much. Wednesday's Pro-Am brought with it cold air and a San Francisco staple from neighboring Olympic club, the Burger Dog. Doesn't matter how, how your round goes, the Burger Dog's always good, right? Pickles, smells good. Probably doing 400 burgers today. Golf can be a lonely sport. Each week, players battle for what a win means to them. You're welcome. But this week, it's bigger than themselves. What would you all think of the hot dog bills on, on 13? Clutch. It's good. I needed that. It was I, a nice little pick me up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's say we're the number one seed, but. I don't think we feel like favorites. I mean, we have the home game, right? We're in the US, we'll get the local support. Not one match is going to be easy this week. And I think that's what's great about this event is that there are so many strong players in each one of those teams. It doesn't matter if you're one or eight, it's every match is going to be tough. Do you feel like you're playing as an underdog and do you feel like that's gonna help your play at all? I don't think so. I mean, yeah. Hannah just won last week. I mean, aren't we one of the favorites? <laughs> <laughs> the course is narrow. I heard that they brought in the fairways for PGA Championship and they never basically opened it back up. We don't really get too many opportunities to play um, in this kind of format and obviously to represent Australia it's, with these girls is really cool and it's a great honor for us. We could all play with each other. Like there's no specific pairing. I think that's an advantage. We're just excited to get going on Thursday. Our mentality is just going to be make, try and make as many birdies and get up as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. I think we've all worked really hard to obviously get into this team. We're just really excited to be here and be amongst it. I really do believe that we can come out on top. And I think so long as we all believe that, then that'll happen. We want to do our best every time we tee it up, but especially when we're representing our country and having a partner by our side, we want to do our best. I think at the end of the day, the people that enjoy themselves the most have a great bond and play some good golf are the ones that are going to win. From the press room to the team room. On the eve of play, players go through the unique format for the week. We'll try and keep this as brief as we can. Slightly different format than what we're used to playing every week, so we wanted to make sure we touch on a few things, make sure you're protecting yourself, protecting your teammates, and all these matches this week by making sure you're aware of how to proceed and the differences in match play versus stroke play. All right, I'm gonna turn it over to Tommy. He's gonna talk about some format things. So Thursday through Saturday, you all play two of all matches. So for each win is one point for each tie at the half. It's all cumulative points, so basically after the first three days, two top two teams out of each pool will basically advance to Sunday. 
And then on Sunday, basically the top four teams, so the winner of Group A is going to play the runner-up of Group B, and the winner of B is going to play the runner-up of A. Format changes. It goes to two singles matches and a foursome match, which is alternate shot. So essentially, there's three points up for grabs. First country, they hit two points, wins the match, advances to the finals. I will reveal the pairings for Thursday. So in the Japan-Thailand matchup, 11-15 match is Yuka and Ayaka versus Patty and Ataya. In the Korea-Australia matchup, 12-15 is Heijin Inji versus Minji and Steph. While the afternoon fog rolled in off the Pacific and the temperature around the course dropped to just below 50 degrees, the putters were heating up for Australia early. This is a birdie putt to win the 14th and go back two up. How are you feeling? Really good. <laughs> yeah, really good. That was, that was awesome. We're trying not to think too far ahead, but you know, we're not surprised. We're good players, so it's an awesome feeling to get off to a good start like that. Both of our teams got up pretty early through nine holes. I wouldn't say we stumbled a little bit, but the Korean team brought it back. I find I can play more aggressive when, like in match play and when you have a teammate, so I kind of just rammed some of those putts at the start and they went in, um, which was good. So yeah, I kind of made the birdies. The front nine and Minji came in clutch on the back nine which was very good. <laughs> Minji Lee with a putt for a birdie. And that is an important putt for Minji Lee. I had 209 meters. I didn't watch Inji's or Hygiene's shot because I didn't want it to like, you know, get in my head, I guess. It was a pretty open shot, I guess. The pin was very gettable, so I just tried to whack the crap out of a three wood and... It went to 10 feet? Yeah, went to six no, feet, actually. less than that. Don't talk to me like a dog. <laughs> we can't really let our foot off the gas. You know, we got to prepare for tomorrow against Japan. They're probably not happy with the results, so they're probably really looking hard to, to win tomorrow. So I think we know what we got to do and hopefully we can do that. Now on the team, the United States. With the round robin format, Friday's matches were crucial in a win or go home scenario. With a win and a loss in round one, the United States faced two possibilities. Sweep and secure a semifinal spot or lose both matches and risk an early departure. I mean, we were, thank you, you want to hold it for me? <laughs> we, were, <laughs> we were two down through two. Honestly, we, we were just kind of attacking pins. Um, it was kind of cold out there, and then we finally got it back to even. And uh, on the back nine, we kind of turned it up where we kind of won, I think, three in a row. And then after, we lost one. But um, Lilia made a nice uh, putt on 17 to secure our win. I think Nelly was playing pretty good, better than I was, but uh, <laughs> on our 17th hole, we all hit good shots and Nelly got the par in first and then that kind of freed me up to go for the birdie. But mm -hmm. Yeah, this is to win the match. Yeah. And it's over. It's over for England. I think my short game's gotten a lot of trust by her now, so then like she doesn't <laughs> even care about the screens. She just goes right at the pins. <laughs> and I've noticed that and it's just been really good uh, ham and egging today. It's been a good day. The Australians, looking to move off Thursday's momentum, faced a tough opponent in Japan. And a slow start to the day had frustration mounting. We played good. We just couldn't really get it in the hole quick enough. Um, yesterday, we had so many birdies and we were really confident with the putter. But today, they just weren't seeming to go in. But I think to come out with a half point was a really good result today. G Minji up, we kind of, like in the middle there, it was a bit rocky, but we are we'll both just kind of making pars. It was just back and forth pretty much the whole time, so, yeah. But I got hey. Minji fired up, she, uh, 
She was out of her comfort zone a little bit, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> this stuff made me swear one time. <laughs> <laughs> From Harding Park to Oracle Park, Danielle Kang was welcomed back to San Francisco on Friday night under the lights. Wind, rain, and cold fog landed on Harding Park on Saturday. And while Australia, Thailand, and Sweden had already secured their spot in Sunday's semifinal matches, the United States needed to win at least half a point to advance. It was just 170 and we agreed on six iron and I was just gonna hit it. And then... Drano. Drano. <laughs> Look at this, it's really cold. It's even colder than Houston. It's fine, I'm good, I'm no complaint. <laughs> All right. <Wow. laughs> well, she said, why my brother can play, why can't not me, you know? And I said, okay, go ahead. And then she hit a couple shots and then it's so solid and so good. And I told my husband, and then he said, Okay, I'll take her out. Ever since she's six and a half year old, she's practicing, and then 10 year old, she's winning the junior world, and 11, and 12, and 13, she went four times. She loved the game. All right. Woo! Yay! Maya Stark to win the hole and keep Sweden unbeaten. Yeah. It's a win on the hole, it's a tie in the match. The U.S. clinches the second spot from Pool A. I watched Alexi hit some unbelievable shots coming in. <laughs> it was, I was fangirling coming in, I go, oh my God. And she just kept side-eyeing me because she knows it's like the sexiest shot ever. <laughs> so that was actually, it was good. We knew that we had to play a very strong way today. And we did so, especially she did in the beginning and then I kind of did at the end. Australia dropped both their matches to Thailand in the final round of pool play. But with 36 holes of golf to go, they turned to strategizing. Tomorrow's a different day. Like, I mean, and today, I think, I think it was a little hard for us today. I mean, we already know that we're playing tomorrow. Like it kind of, not that it didn't matter. It, it mattered, but it didn't matter. How do you both feel about playing if you had to play foursomes tomorrow to kill you. I was well, did not hit a good today until I'm 14. So that's and ridiculous. Well, that's the same. You're ranked like, like six in the world. I mean, <laughs> other teams would be lining up. I mean, regardless of however anyone's playing, I, I kind of saw you two playing the singles and Steph and I playing foursomes, mm -hmm. only because you're the, our two highest ranked players, you know, our str you know, strongest, best. But then, you know, obviously then we need to throw in how we're all playing. Yeah, yeah. I'll do whatever Your last works for the tomorrow. team. My gut was Steph and Hannah. Singles? Singles and Kempi and Menji. I thought the same for that. That's what I thought. So I'm driving it pretty good, right? So I'll drive and, yeah, so the 13 so the... I'll have. Yeah. I'm rolling it well, I didn't yeah. take a whole lot, but I'm rolling it well and I, I drove it well. Yeah, I've seen you hit me on the green and I'll hold it. <laughs> Repeat after me, we're gonna f*** up tomorrow. Yeah. Say it. We're gonna f*** up tomorrow. It's a week-long celebration of women's golf, highlighting the global nature of this sport. Sunday semifinals matched up Australia and the U.S. against formidable and unbeaten opponents in Thailand and Sweden. You better be careful, got it to wait for a minute. minute. And that was enough for the demons. Look how we fell from the ceiling. The underworld couldn't contain me. Rah, mama, sorry. I don't play games, yeah, no Atari. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good job, Steffi. Four straight, four straight win, four and three. And it was really good to get the first win. I think it kind of helps the girls when they see a point for us on the board, you know, it might motivate them a little bit. You kind of just put your head down and tell yourself, you know, you, there's a lot of uh, holes out there that you can win. Thailand four, United States four. Thailand wins, one up. First, uh, Five holes, I mean, there's three par fives, right? So you, if you don't kind of take advantage of it and the opponents take advantage of those, then you are going to be two, three, or even one down. Give me mine because I earned it. The whole is tying your scores. United States wins one up. USA's Lilia Vu manages to hand Thailand their first defeat of the tournament in the second match of the semifinals. Meanwhile, Australia continues their unflinching performance over Sweden, dominating their matches and carving their path to the finals. Sweden four, Australia three, Australia went five and three. I hit some really nice shots, Kempi hit some really nice shots. We hold a couple good ones too. Although she may not look like it, she's excited. <laughs> <laughs> we show it very different on this team. <laughs> this is cool, calm and collected, and um, this is, let's go! <laughs> I'm not really surprised. Um, we've, in, in, not in a cocky way, just, you know, because of um, the way we are around each other and the team that we've built from the beginning, we've just come together really well. And it's, it's paying off, as you can see on the course. As excited as we are right now to make the final, it's still going to be a tough beat. I think it's looking like we might play Thailand, and obviously we got defeated by them yesterday, so um, maybe with a different format today might help us a little bit. But... The Australians sweep Sweden to advance, but the USA ultimately gets stopped by Thailand. Anytime you can be able to tee up and represent your country, it's the highest honor that you could possibly have. Today, wasn't how we planned, but you know, we did our best. With Sweden and the US now playing for bronze, two teams remained. Only Thailand now stood between the Australians and their Cinderella finish. Show me what you got, show me what you got. Show me what you got, show me what you got. Show me what you got, show me what you got. Show me what you got, show me what you got. I've been a man, I got the world in the palm of my hand. I've been a story, I cannot be sorry. I gave him the glory, it's all in the plans. Feel like a movie, the crowd in the stands. Clapping their hands, waving their hands. Legs in a flurry, that's why they know I'm just not in a hurry, because I've been a man. I know my ball striking is that I hit it really good, um, and I didn't hit that many putts, so <laughs> not sure how my fighting was. <laughs> it's the way to finish. Fitting end. Thailand never faltered, and the Australians' underdog dreams came to an end. For us to come all the way this far, it's so great for our country. You can already see there's a lot of rookies this year from, from Thailand. You know this is going to keep making it growing and keep inspiring young people. It's been so much fun um, to finally be in a team environment with playing golf. Um, it's been a lot of fun getting to know the girls, playing such a great course, and um, I'm super proud of how we played. Um, yes, the result isn't what we obviously wanted, but I think we probably had the most fun this week. The champions of the Hanwha Life Plus International Crown for 2023. It is Team Thailand, of course. To be able to play alongside them this week uh, has been a dream come true and also an honor. Um, but I'm just so excited to see where Thailand's golf is heading to. I think we made everyone in Australia proud by finishing second. Um, I mean, I'm proud of these girls. Uh, any de departing words? Yeah. Um, Kempi was actually said she was going to be nice, but she wasn't, was, so she's a liar. Watch this space in 2025. Yeah. No, six. <laughs> five. No, five. 2025. Why? It's when we yeah, come it's back two years, two years later. Is this on every two years? Yes. Oh, my God. What did you think? So every every year. No, no, every two. Every, but it's in Korea, so it'll oh. be fun. 
Two years is a long time in sports. Who knows who will sit at the top of the world of golf by then?